I might have just found my best ever op shop find. I didn't just find one pair of Louis Vuitton shoes. I found two pairs I got two. at the op shop. So we're gonna go through all the things I've found in the last couple of months during the Mexican beer flu, whatever you wanna call it, period in our lives. Just showing you that things are still selling online and you can still make some money at the op shops. Let's get started. All right, we're gonna start with the heavy hitter. This just sold overnight and it is a Sydney Olympic Games dry as a bone jacket. It's got the um, Sydney Olympic Games Running Man logo guy scattered all through the inside of it. It's called the Millennial Collection, made in Australia. It's an XXL size eight. It's got snap buttons, dries a bone on all the buttons. The insert's amazing, it's in great condition. It is a really, really nice find. It's a beautiful orange dries a bone jacket. This is the back of it. This one I picked up for, I think it was $30 at a Vinnie's in Kingston in Tasmania. And it just sold for $230 and $20 postage. Rizabone and RM Williams are a really good Australian brand to keep an eye out for. They seem to sell fairly well. Next item, one of my all time favorite games in the entire world, mainly the first one, but Knights of the Old Republic 2, the Sith Lords on the OG Xbox. This was picked up from the Glenorchy tip shop for $15. It is complete and it just sold for $40 and $10 shipping. So, and also really recommend playing the game. It's an excellent game. One of the best Star Wars games ever created. The number one and then number two. Knights of the Old Republic. Next item, we've got a Atari 2600 game, which I have never ever actually picked up a Atari 2600 game before. And I actually picked up two of them in the same op shop in Sorel. These ones were around about the $10 mark. Never heard of the game myself. Looks like just a basic shoot 'em up schmuck game. Anyway, this one has sold for $25 and $10 shipping. Always like to pick up video games where I can, especially vintage ones or ones that I really enjoy playing. Next item, we've got this New Zealand pure wool. Uh, it's like a sweater, hand knitted. Picked this up from Vinnie's for $4 over a year ago up in Launceston. I call it like the Coogee style. And this one, yeah, $4 and I've just sold it for $60 and 15 shipping. So ugly is in apparently. Two pairs of Louis Vuittons in the one op shop. I got two. Found these at a Red Cross in Rosney Park. They were sitting in the men's section. At first glimpse, I wasn't really sure what brand they were, because generally it's the usual trash that's in most op shops. And then I noticed the silver buckles on the red pair here. And then I started looking closer at this pair. This is the pair I found first. These were priced at $120. At that point, I knew that there was something up. So I then started to look into trying to find out whether they were authentic. When you touch these shoes and just you can see the craftsmanship on them. Very, very soon after I was picking the first pair up, I knew that they were a good chance they were real. And then I stumbled across the second pair. These are the blue pair. Actually a really nice blue as well. And the second pair, I was just like, okay, so there's two pairs of Louis Vuittons sitting in front of me. This one's worth $120. This one's worth, I think they were $90. I'm like, this is a huge gamble to take these shoes. And then for me to get home and realize they weren't real, so we asked the lady at the counter, I'm like, hey, if we buy these and they end up not being real, can we return them? And she said, yeah, it's fine, you got seven days. So I'm like, cool, I got seven days to find out if these are real. At that point, I listed both pairs. We cleaned them up first. There was a little bit of wear on the these side, like lace strap areas, and the leather was not in the greatest condition. But once we cleaned them up and I was able to go over them in more detail, I soon realized that, yeah, these were, I'm almost 99.9% .9 sure that they are authentic. At that point, I listed them and started immediately getting views and also watches. And that point, I knew that I had priced them at the right price and also that they would eventually sell at some point. 
So I took the gamble and these I bought about two and a half weeks ago. And these red ones have already sold. I took a best offer of $420 and $20 shipping. And these are the Louis Vuitton Brown Damer Infinity Leather Highland Men's Shoes. They're in a size seven and a half to eight UK. And yeah, they've already sold for $420 for an investment of $120. So there's $300 of margin there. These ones haven't sold yet, but I just wanted to show them off in the same video just because it's so rare to see two pairs or one pair of Louis Vuitton shoes, let alone two pairs in such good condition and with still enough to make money on. Moving on to the next item. And we have more games. We have this Sega CD prize fighter on the Sega CD drive. This one was in that lot of Sega games that I picked up in cans. I'll link the video on screen now. Basically, I found a bunch of games at a console, box console, for a total of $10. So we'll put this one down at, say, a dollar, because basically I've already paid off the $10 anyway. And this one just sold for $50 and $10 shipping. So games at the moment are going off, especially vintage games. Next item, we've got this vintage Circum made in Australia button up St Kilda sort of jersey long sleeve. This one I picked up from a Salvos for a total of seven dollars. This brand here makes good quality stuff back in the day for Aussie rules football and these sort of older style jersey shirts are getting desirable for the um, AFL fans. This one is a St Kilda branded one. This one sold for $40 and $15 postage. So keep an eye on that brand and you might find yourself with a little bit of a profit margin there. Next item, we've got this PS2 game that I picked up from Launceston. This one was in that big lot of um, anime box sets that I found. Check this sales update video to see footage of the rest of the stuff that we found in the op shop at the time. Basically this guy donated his like entire anime collection and there was a few decent anime games as well. This one cost me $15 and it just sold for $60 and $10 shipping. Next item, we've got these Vibram men's. They're a size 42 Vibram five finger uh, like aquatic shoes. I nearly ended up keeping these because these are actually my size. They got a little bit of wear in, this, in the actual shoe there itself, but they're in really good condition considering. These ones I picked up for a total of $5 from a Vinnie's in South Hobart. Basically their FPOS was down and this was marked at $6. So I had to go to the car and just grab a $5 note and was like, will this do? And they were like, yep, done, five bucks. Five dollars into $150 and $10 postage. So keep an eye on these. I've actually found another pair that were brand new in Queensland, uh, in Townsville actually. And they're still up for sale for 100 brand new, but these ones, this style seemed to be worth a little bit more. So keep an eye out for Vibram five finger shoes. Next item, this is a cool old style, it's made in Tasmania, I think it's a Tasmanian brand, it's called Johnson Brothers Proprietary Limited. I saw this and it looked like quality and it was only $15 and it sold for $70 and $20 shipping to a local in, in Launceston. Next item, we've got these Mammoth Hiking Outdoor Trousers. These ones I picked up in Townsville. They are uh, made in Korea. I'm not sure on the sizing, but I had a lot of interest in them. Really cool, uh, like outdoor pants. And these ones just sold for $70. So keep an eye on outdoor sort of hiking wear. The gift that keeps on giving, these were in that big lot of Viewmaster discs that I got. And I sold the Incredible Hulk, which was a pack of three with the original packaging. This one sold for $15 and $8 shipping. Essentially, this cost me $0. So it's pure profit. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing all the cool items we found. Uh, comment down below, like I said, what's the best luxury item you've ever found at the thrift. And don't forget to hit the like button, really helps out the channel. And we'll see you guys in the next one.